Okay, now I'll introduce the lab one. The lab one, they have uh, three tasks. Task one is to use the joint mode to control the robot. And task two is using the world mode to control the robot. And task three is to create a two frame and using the two frame mode to control the robot. After the lab one, you will know the difference between the three modes. Now, I'd like to introduce the lab one. The lab one is you have to control the robot and putting this pointer to the hole on the block. There has one hole on the top and one hole on the side. So you're, you, you're going to use three different frame. The first one is joint frame. You have to use a joint frame to control six joint separately to put this pointer into this hole and also this hole. And second, you will using the word frame, XYZ word frame to put the pointer into the hole and also into the side hole. And second, you will using the two frame. First, you have to create your own two frame, like this XYZ, and using the two frame to put the pointer into the hole. And you will tell the difference between the three different frame. Okay, first I will try using the joint mode to put this pointer into the hole. So release all the emergency stop and click the confirm all and hold the dead man switch in the second position and open the gripper and put this pointer So now let's control the robot. So when I select here, select to the joint mode, now I can control the six joint. So because uh, I want to control the first one first, or maybe the second one. Because it's uh, very difficult, so I will try my best. It's very difficult to put a pointer into a hole using joint mode. It's uh, very difficult, but I think I can do this. Ah! Uh, so you have to decrease the speed. Yeah, try to decrease speed when the pointer is close to the block to keep safe. I almost there. Okay, now I want to try in the world frame how to control the pointer into the hole using the world frame. And then now I want to put the pointer up and then 
run my home position program. So I hold the dynamic switch and press the play button. It will go home. So now I press here, select world. Now I can control the X, Y, Z word frame. I okay. Now I click uh, the that my switch and then running my robot go to the hole. Now it's pretty easy. Just uh, forward and go down. And then moving in the X, Y, Z direction. It's very easy to uh, to reach. Okay, I did it. And now I want to back to home, back to home position, one more time, by running the program called Home. Okay, for task three, we are going to use a uh, tool frame to control the robot to the hole. But first, we have to create a tool frame for this tool. So in KUKA, they have a four-point method. I will show you how to do this. So first, press the KUKA button, and then select the startup, calibrate, tool frame, four point method number two we put number ten and then the name may be the lab one two so we have to moving the robot to a specific point and then record the point so I'm going to use the, uh, in the world mode. I'll control the robot to the pointer. So When we close to the point, so just uh, decrease the speed. The first point is straight down to this point. So make sure the pointer to pointer is uh, close, as close as you can, but do, do not touch the point. Okay, this is my first point. Then I'll record this position as the first point. So I press the calibrate. Yes. And then I will go to the second direction. Same as the first point, try to as close as the pointer, but do not touch the pointer.
Okay, this will be my second point. Then I click the calibrate. Yes. And now I want to go to the third point. We have using uh, four different direction to the point, but the angle is minimum three, a uh, three zero degree. As close as you can, but do not touch the point. Okay, that's perfect. So I record the third point to my four point method yes and now it's the last one Okay, this will be my first point. Then I click, click the calibration, yes. And uh, it tell me some errors, but that's okay. And click next and save. Okay, done. I fully saved my two frame. Then I back to home and I want to test our program. So go home, select, and running the home position. So now let's test our two frame. So in the two frame, I have to select two frame. And then I just save as 10, our lap one, two. And now I'm in the now I'm in the two frame now. So two frame X should be towards here and uh, Y and Z. If I give some angle, you can see the different. So my X will be and Y and Z. So if I rotate the ABC and you can see the pointer here is never move. So if the pointer is never move, that means our two is successful created. So now let's go to the side hole. The side hole is uh, 45 degree. So if we control in two frame,
and this will be very easy for us to reach that hole. You see, the two is forty five degree and X is goes goes straight forward. And we can put our two here and rotating it. Rotating is A B C is rotating. So this is a two frame, it's different from the word frame and joint frame.